Okay. Wow. Or you crack our egg. Or crack your egg. Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing a Sam's Club haul. This is something that I've wanted for a very long time and we finally got our membership today. So we went ahead and splurged on some items that we've been needing or wanting, however you want to look at it. Let's just say when you go to one of these places, don't expect to have a small bill. <laughs> he was mentally bracing himself about the entire time we were shopping. And I really pumped the brakes a lot for what I was putting in the cart. So good thing that they have free delivery on our membership because I probably will be ordering a little bit more later on. But we won't talk about that today. Not in front of me. Yeah. That's why I had to come with is to make sure it was a little controlled because I know that it'll stop for a little bit if I was not there. We would need five kitchen tables. Let's start talking about some of this stuff before it gets warm. So after we went and did our Sam's Club trip, we also picked up our milk because we have been sourcing that from a local farm. We have switched over to raw milk. We did a whole video about that, so go, go ahead and check that out. We'll link it below. And the, another thing that this trip is not containing is really any meat because we are also sourcing that from a local farm as well. And hopefully we should be getting that delivery today and we'll show you guys if that comes in in time in this video of what we got. Hi. But let me show you our raw milk that we got. So since it is raw milk, it is important that we keep it at a specific temperature so we bring our cooler bags and we have ice in here and then right now you don't see any cream line but tomorrow as the milk sets we will be able to see where the cream line is in the raw milk and then we can go ahead and grab that out with a turkey baster and use it for making butter or we can use it for our coffee creamer it, that has been my favorite part it makes a delicious coffee all right now let's get into some of the haul of everything that we got today i guess i'll lift the heavy stuff <laughs> So first we'll just go with all of our waters. So these are sparkling waters. They're just flavored sparkling waters that we enjoy having as a different kind of drink that's not just water or milk in the house. We try not to have any kind of pop, which I had to work on with this one over here. It's just a nice good flavor. The girls can drink them too every once in a while. And this was actually, it was nice to get their brand to get 24 of them for the same price that we get 12 back at our local grocery store. So definitely a good thing for us to have. I feel like I don't have to lift this to tell you guys that we got it, but... Okay, so this water here is going to be going to our emergency supply. We are trying to build up a nice emergency supply of food and water, and this is part of it. We got two cases last week of water from our local grocery store, and Melina had cut open into one of the cases and then we ended up breaking into one because we had a stomach bug and we needed it. I would like to get more water supply on hand because our well is uh, run on electricity so if the power were to go out we really would not have a supply of water so it's important. If you guys hear dogs in the background, we have two of them. One's a great Pyrenees who just can't help himself but to bark. We have plenty of videos about him, so if you want to watch anything about a great Pyrenees, if you don't understand the breed, we have enough videos for you to understand them. <laughs> well, let me put this back. Oh, watch your toes! Oh my god! I'm just kidding. <laughs> god, get out of here! We're gonna get into some stuff that needs to go into the refrigerator. The next thing is we got this huge hunk of cheese. This is only like seven dollars, seven fifty, I think, and you can actually get quite a bit. We like monster cheese here, so I got a big thing of that. Um, and I'm actually thinking maybe about freezing some so it doesn't go bad, but it says about 42 slices So that will last us plenty of time. I think like the, what the normal grocery store you get 10 or so 12 Yeah, um, so it's like four times the amount and it's just double the price So this is a really good deal that I found. and it has the best name monster cheese Oh jeez, you hit the camera Sorry. salad I'm the one who picked this out because she tries to make me eat it all the time. So this is my goal, is to try to put some more greens on my plate that's not forced on my plate. The only reason why he actually got this is because when we all got the stomach bug, he got hit the hardest. And I think that's because his gut needs some help. So, we already opened these. After you open them, you gotta refrigerate them. But these are turkey bites. This is a real staple in our diet for our kids, for their snacks. Melina and Delilah both eat them really good, so, and they're something nice and simple to get. They make a baby magically appear. So, 
Um, if it's a nice protein, quick protein thing for the girls to have. Just like, look. Thanks, Theo. Another quick protein that the girls eat really good. This is that uh, baby, bell. baby bell. Another quick little protein cheese snack just for the girls. It's just nice simple cheese. Not much about it. Theo, you want to hold on to those for a little bit for me? Thanks. Now this is a very unique fruit. You guys may have never seen something like this before at your local grocery stores. I'm so sorry guys, it's so cheesy. No, it's fruit, not cheese. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> raspberries. I don't think they're grown in the United States because they're so unique. But if you haven't seen them before, Sam's Club does have them. They're red, they kind of look like strawberries-ish. So, raspberries are their name, so make sure you look for them. But it's usually something good for the kids also. Just think. Raspberries are a very unique fruit that ha Oh my god. You gave me the cheese. We may have some raspberries on the ground. Wasting perfectly good rare raspberries. We got some maple syrup because we have been making some pancakes and we're almost out. And buying it at the regular store is pretty expensive. I think this is like $10, $12, which is pretty good. And this is so much better than that other syrup that's just high fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Blah, blah, blah. This is the pure stuff. Yes. It's very sweet. It makes the pancake actually absorb the syrup and it is a lot better. And then another sweet thing that we got is some organic honey. This is really good to keep. Uh, we're going to be putting this one in our supplies for emergency food stuff because it is good for medicinal uses as well as just mixing as a sweetener and stuff like that. So that is a good one. We got some rubs here. These are just kind of for ones for chicken. Poultry. But this is just to spice up the meat, give it some seasoning, give it some flavoring. Uh, it helps it so you don't have to have the same kind of just salt and pepper. You get down? We're having a baby crying real quick, so Chelsea will be right back, but I'll finish explaining these real quick. So this is just to help spice up the meat so that it's not the same old just kind of bland chicken or bland ground beef or meat. It helps give it some extra flavor. And I always recommend adding extra flavor to anything. So we're getting a meat order and our meat order includes one eighth of a cow. So it's a whole bunch of different beef cuts that we are not used to cooking. So I figured to go along with that we would get some rubs and some spices to mix up the cuts. And, and it may come in today so we can show you guys. I'm Next up, we got some Parmesan cheese. I love cooking with this. It is amazing for potatoes. It is amazing to add on some chicken. Really you can put it on anything. Pasta It is like a staple here. So Put it on eggs the other day. Yes, I have been putting it as a base layer of eggs, so I melt some butter in a pan, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, and then I crack an egg over that, and it is actually really good. Me and Melina like it. He does not like it. I have to do this one. A staple in the house. If we don't have it in the house, I kind of get depressed for a few days until we have it. Chips and salsa. Uh, nothing really to explain. This is just my snack food, really. Now, really the other anyone else is on the house they'll snack with me but this is something that when I look for a snack this is what I'm going to so got a big can of salsa well jug and a huge bag of tortilla chips so this should last me we'll have to see if the salsa is up to his standards though because he kind of is a salsa snob he's very particular about a it. salsa snob is a bad term for it I am a salsa exportiste I almost want to try it right now we'll so keep I can you talk. Updated. I want to try it right now, actually. I'm okay. All we'll, right. We'll wait, I guess. Next thing up that I can grab easily is this extra virgin olive oil. We already have some, but I want to keep a uh, supply of this on hand. So this is going into our pantry area. Along with that is some beef broth. Like I said, we are getting quite a bit of beef in, and I really don't have any beef broth. Um, I really only have chicken, so I wanted to get some of this to have on hand. I'm hoping to be able to make my own once we get some bones in and some different cuts, uh, but for now this will do. Non bread. So this is something that we probably, what, one of our friends showed us oh, yeah. a few years back, but we didn't really start getting it more and we've kind of got it a little bit lately, but we just found these little ones that are perfect. The girls have been eating hummus really good and especially Melina, our five year old. She can devour hummus and pita chips, and these are just like little pita breads. They're a really good snack um, for guacamole, any kind of dips that you have. So, if we put them in the air fryer for a few minutes, air fryer, or just set them in the oven for a little yeah. bit just to heat them up. You don't really need them crispy, you just want them kind of warm. Next up, 
I got some instant yeast. We have been making more of it right here. <laughs> Keep it together. Yeast is such a gross word. Why? We do okay. use nutritional yeast, if you guys haven't ever had that, which is actually really good on eggs and stuff and I on popcorn. But I can't get over the name of it still. He's still wrapping his head around the, how sourdough works. Every day he's like looking at it like, so what does this thing do? It just magically starts <laughs> growing. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway, uh, we got some instant yeast for our container. <laughs> <laughs> we got some instant yeast so that way we can have it on hand for baking and just to go into our pantry just in case. We got salsa. Yeah, we know that. This is new, so I have no idea how these are. So we're going to be trying these and getting a reaction from the girls shortly. That's why I got them. There's oat bites, which they look like good little just kind of like oatmeal. I don't want to say cookies but like an oatmeal wrapped around some kind of fruit, like a fig bar almost, but instead of fig, more like oats. And I think it'll be a nice little quick snack for the girls and another kind of like protein-ish, healthier snack. I'm sure they're still filled with a good amount of sugar if I read this. I would have to say after not shopping at like Casker or Sam's for a long time and then going to shop there today, I found that their healthier options were somewhat limited. Like I was looking for a healthier cereal and there really wasn't any. They looked a little healthier than normal kind of snacks. So hopefully the girls will like them. Fig bars, like I was just stating before, like with those. So these are about the same exact concept with a fruit fig filling. I don't know what the outside of a fig bar really is, but um, right now we have blueberry and raspberry, so they're technically fig bars, but they're not really made with the fig filling. They're blueberry and raspberry filling for these ones. And the girls absolutely love these. They come in just a pack of two little kind of hand size, finger size foods for them. Theo's dropping everything. I took my toe. Well, remember when you dropped that glass papyrus bowl on my toe? Oh goodness gracious. It was blue for a month. One of the best snacks that we've had for the girls where they constantly eat and it's a nice thing like whether we're in a car driving that we can just hand to them and they can eat in the car with no problem. So this is a good thing to have in hand if you have little toddlers at home. Alright, I'll do this one because this is a necessity around here. A necessity. Very important. Our nearest Tim Hortons is 18 miles away as well. and when we Everything is 18 miles away. <laughs> so when, whenever we say something is... The only thing that's that close is we have a gas station that may be a little closer, but 18 miles away for everything that's a normal thing that you think that you can get to. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, so every time we go to the land of people, we've been getting our Tim Hortons, but I definitely wanted some in the house. I have been getting organic coffee, but I figured this was a really good price for this big of a bag. So you can never have too much. Granola. I like to sometimes eat it as a cereal because it's delicious. And I figured if we start making our homemade yogurt, we could put it in that. That's about it. It just looked good to me. Yeah, I guess I really don't have that great of a reason. This is why I have to go with her sometimes, <laughs> guys. Because these are the reasons that I get sometimes for some items. It looks good. Don't don't try to add extra things. You've said your real thoughts on it already. <laughs> they heard. Spaghetti sauce. We have a lot of spaghetti, lasagna type dishes in the house. It's something that the girls liked a lot and then they kind of shied away from but now they're liking a lot again so we'll see how they do with the sauce though we when? haven't had the sauce in a while that's true so i feel like when you're on a roll with something that your kids eat you probably have it at least once a week and that's probably what we're at with spaghetti is at least trying to throw it in once a week so that we know that there's a good meal that they're going to eat spaghetti sauce it's a good pantry stable because you can do so many different things with it yeah like make spaghetti yeah or lasagna or chicken parmesan or ravioli, or meatballs, pasta sauce. You get the Is that funny? Lots of options. It's not funny for you. But I would say that if your kids do not like spaghetti, maybe try playing around with the different sauces that you try, because I have found that they like this one particular brand. We got some booty. Pirate booty. Mm, Theo likes it. Uh, if you guys don't know what pirate booty is uh, for toddler kind of snacks, they are little. I'm gonna read it from the box because I'm forgetting. Rice and corn puff white cheddar snacks. And they're just like those like airy kind of like Cheeto puffs. Like there's like a puff. Yeah. <laughs> but the girls love them. And this is 40 little lunch size bags of them. So we'll have these for a while. Maybe, I mean, it could last us two weeks if the girls get their hands into these things because they love them that much. But 
Um, it's nice to get a big size of them other than going to the store and they only have like a big size is like 12 little bags of them probably and that would only last us possibly a week with two girls yeah. um, because as soon as you give one out the other one needs it too so 40 of them will help last us which is a nice little thing it's something I never would have ever bought look at these things sorry if it's offending anyone that really likes them but just looking at them they look like little bread things Let's see what they say from the box French inspired Madeline. Madeline. Nope, see, there we go. I don't even know how to pronounce it. There's a bad at marketing. Moist and buttery soft with a hint of sweetness. Obviously, Chelsea here is buttery and she'll buy anything. I didn't pick this one up. No, Melina did. But it's still your fault. Well, she's used to having it as a treat at one of my friend's house. You know who you are. And she would not let us leave the store without it. She said those are her absolute favorite. I tried finding the little individual wrap ones that I think Costco sells because that's where my friend gets it. Um, but they didn't have it at Sam's Club. So hopefully we go through with these. Maybe I can freeze some of them. I'm not sure because I don't think we'll go through all of them. I don't know. Everyone knows that the shelves have been being a little empty lately. So Chelsea's been talking about how we bought a few things extra. We've been trying at grocery trips to buy a few things extra so that if for some reason something's gone that we have a little bit of a stockpile so Chelsea made sure we did that again today so some canned black beans which are nice because technically they're already cooked already ready to go so yeah. this would require no cooking if needed you could just open them up and eat them how they are obviously you wouldn't choose to do that but if we have no electricity or anything like that for some reason there was a big power outage any kind of canned beans are definitely a good thing to have for that. Enough rice to get you through a few months, half a year. <laughs> so, but this is um, basmati. Basmati, that's how you say it. And uh, this is definitely our favorite rice. The mm -hmm. texture of it, the flavor of it. I know rice doesn't have crazy flavor, but... Uh, something about this one, just as you eat it, you can taste the difference compared to normal, just like long grain rice or anything like that. Probably a little bit more comparable to jasmine rice. Yeah, a little bit. But um, this is still a little bit better. Nice to have uh, on hand so that we could have extra rice because it's a nice filling thing. It's a big storage um, item, but it makes a lot. So when you make one cup of rice, it actually grows to be about like two to three cups of rice. So. It's nice to have a big stockpile of that. Being in a smaller house, it's a little bit harder to find a certain spot that we want to make to put our food away. Um, so we're kind of finalizing that. And as soon as we get that done, we want to get a vlog out there for you guys, kind of showing um, what kind of foods to have for preparedness, why we have them, and how to store them when you have a like, small storage space in your house. So canned chicken, not the best quality chicken, but this is another thing for our storage so that you have some kind of meat and protein that's a nice easy access that technically another thing that you wouldn't have to cook. These are already pre-cooked. You could just open them up and eat them if needed in kind of emergency. And it's a nice thing to have so that let's say your electricity or anything went out and your power went out and your food started going bad in your freezer but this is a way to have some kind of meat still in the house. These are also awesome for if you did not have time to thaw out meat and you need to make a quick meal. We make chicken quesadillas with these. We've done chicken nachos. Buffalo chicken dip. Yeah these are kind of just great for like in a pinch situations. Good thing to have in your pantry. Next thing we loaded up on are some hamburger buns because in our one eighth of a cow I think we have a lot of patties. Is it like 12 or 16 burgers coming in so we're gonna actually put these in the freezer and then we just like to thaw them out uh, when we cook them because most of the time it's really just me and him eating the burgers and they they eat it without the bun so this will last us a very long time. Garbage bags obviously a staple in any household I'm guessing. Nothing really to say here other than let me go show you what we've been using lately and why oh, these are important. Oh brother. You know sometimes you order things or you I, I think I I don't know if I picked them up oh, in the store or not but they weren't exactly what I thought they were. Oh so and we have a ton of these garbage bags still she probably got such a good deal on them. <laughs> that's that's usually her way of saying something when it's something that's big is that it was a good deal. It's the no string tie garbage bags. First of all, these are so annoying to even open up. I'm gonna show, time you guys without messing around how long this takes me to open. Ready?
You're being sarcastic. No, I'm not. Am I upside down? No, it's right here. All you have to do is just snap. This is definitely not how long it takes me to do this at all. Honestly, no I'm wonder why he gets so frustrated. <laughs> I don't it's even want to do it. I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to finish out those ones. Those are going to be other purposes. They'll be emergency. I actually had this in my Walmart cart because I wanted to get some more detergent and it was a decent price and it's a little bit of a cleaner brand. And so this is my first time trying this Ecos. Um, it is a plant based with lavender. I really like to get just the unscented detergent, but they didn't have any, so I'm gonna try this out, see how it goes, and I'll keep you guys updated. It was a great deal. I think it was maybe $12, $13 for this huge honking thing. 230 loads. That lasts us a month. Yeah, we've been going through laundry like crazy with all the kids. It's been like two, three loads a day, which is absolutely bananas. And the most prized item during the pandemic toilet paper. Another necessity, especially for this guy. <laughs> hey, just because I spend a lot of time in there. We actually haven't bought toilet paper in a long time. Not since we moved in. I bought weird brand I've never really seen before. I think it was at Target, like but it was bamboo. really cheap. Yeah, and we haven't purchased toilet paper till this day right now. So that either tells you that we have a problem, constipated, you don't wipe, or what. <laughs> So that was everything we got from Sam's Club today and now that we have our membership, I'm so happy because now I can do some online orders and we do have free shipping uh, so I can order additional things for our long-term storage like the flour and sugar that I want to have like big bulk containers of but we're still trying to figure out our system like we've kind of said before but this is just a good start for now especially with how the stores are and inflation's going, everything is rising. So the things that we use all the time, it's really just best to buy bulk of now and just stock up on. Um, and we're really not stocking up crazy. Like it's just enough for us and a little bit extra every month or every time we go shopping. And I think that's just a smart way to make sure that you have extra on hand, especially living in a more rural area like we are. It is such an inconvenience to just go to the store. I mean, we, our town doesn't even have a grocery store. It'd be like, like it'd be going to a gas station to get like your milk and your eggs and stuff like that. And it's like five times the price there. They rob you because they know you have no other choice to go there. Yeah. Um, so it just makes sense to have things that we use all the time on hand. Thank you guys for sticking along and watching us again. And we would be happy to accompany you guys in the next vlog that we have. I'm so sorry for his cheesiness. I'll see you guys later.